At first I said that I love you and you ain't say that shit back It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached Once I give you my word, I swear it ain't no going back Once I give you my heart, you better keep that shit intact Hello everyone, what is going on? I haven't spoke to you guys in a long time because for me the Gladstone was like weeks and weeks ago and I also haven't uploaded in like 12 days. Um, the reason for that was I was on vacation for the past week which was super nice. It was me and my family's like one week this summer that we went away. We went to Florida. It was so much fun. I look tan or -er. Thankfully, um, but today I'm going to do like a day in my life summer edition I asked you guys yesterday on my YouTube like community page what some videos you would like to see are and Somebody said they'd love to see like, you know, like what I do in a day non horsey related as well as horsey I got up at about 8 ish 8 20 ish um, after I laid in bed and scrolled on TikTok and got some breakfast and now it's about 9 20 and I'm going to head to the gym. The gym I go to is called Burn Boot Camp and there's like a ton of them all over the United States. But basically it's every day Monday through Saturday. They have a bunch of different times when you go in and it's like not personal training but it's not group training. It's like each day is a different day. So you have like leg day, arm day, um, cardio, athletic conditioning, all those things. So yesterday was full body. So I completely hurt and now we're going to do burst training which is going to be something. Didn't get to finish talking to you because I had to leave. I have to be there in like 20 minutes and like 15 minutes away with no traffic. So I'm gonna talk to you while I pull out of my driveway, but we're not gonna film while we're driving, guys, because that's dangerous. But I have a lesson at 3.30, so I'll get back home around like 10.45ish, 11. Um, I'll eat some lunch. I have some YouTube work to do, and then I need to clean my room, and then we will go to riding. So that's what's going on. Guys, it's actually pouring now. Literally the second I pulled out of the garage, it started to storm. I was like, that is just my luck. Um, but we made it here with plenty of time. I said that wrong. It's definitely like a 10 minute drive, not a 15 minute drive. Um, but it took a little longer to get here because someone was sitting at their f on their phone at the traffic lights and didn't go. So then I got stuck for like a whole round of traffic lights, which is lovely. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go in. I will see you after. I'm sure I will look much worse than this. Okay guys, I'm finished. I look disgusting. It's 10.33. Uh, plans change because it's storming. Everyone has to ride in the covered arena, but obviously we also have like the um, riding school, so it's gonna be packed in there at 3.30, so I'm gonna ride at 12 instead, so I have an hour and a half, which is fine. I'll be home in like 10, 15 minutes and cool down, get changed, go to the barn, and then I'll have like the rest of the day to myself, which will be nice, because I have some work to get done. Um, it stopped raining mostly, now it's just drizzly, so that's crazy, and oh my god, that was such a hard workout. <gasps> Hi! Oh, I know, I was just gone for so long. Come on, let's go back inside. Okay. Also, I always get questions about what I'm wearing, where it's from, so before I get changed, my workout shirt is actually a burn boot camp shirt, so you can get these at the, any of the gyms they have like different seasonal ones and like different lines so there's always a new ones and then I have these purple shorts on which I got on Amazon and then I also always wear my Nike Metcom for tennis shoes so that's that I'm gonna change into my riding stuff so we can go to the barn you watch the house like a good girl okay water let's go to the barn um and i know it's so annoying when youtubers are like oh yeah like i have things like coming for you guys but i can't tell you trust me i hate it when i watch my favorite youtubers and they say that but it, it it's coming so soon there's so many exciting things and these things i'm i'm almost positive you're gonna be so excited about so 
stay tuned don't forget to subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already because a lot of the time for horse shows or any announcements I post them on there way before on YouTube just because I have to edit YouTube videos and it takes a lot longer to get up so make sure you follow me it's at Schillingford underscore egg. We just finished and it's 2.53. So me and Kate are going to get lunch. Okay guys, it's the next day, but before I end this vlog, I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool. So me and my parents always said, we're not getting a golf cart for horse shows. We, are, we can walk, it's good exercise, blah, blah, blah. Um, but we realized this year when we went down to WEF that you kind of need a golf cart because Getting to the showgrounds from the barn, you it's it's too far to walk, honestly. It, it is. Um, so you either have to drive a car or a golf cart. The problem with driving our car there is there's often not parking at WEF. But this is the same thing with a lot of shows, in including Kentucky, which we're going to in a few weeks. Um, we'll be down there for a few weeks, and we'll be going between the horse show and a barn we're staying in off-site. So... We did something. The other thing I was gonna say is it's not just for horse shows. We actually really use this at our house, especially now that we are putting a barn in, which is what I ran out here to film. You will see in a few days. Um, it's, it's really useful, especially being on a big property of land. So I present to you the Elise S golf cart. Once again, I always say this before anything, because on the internet, you can never say something too many times. I am not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. Um, I'm so unbelievably grateful for this, and I understand that I'm very lucky to have a golf cart. Um, but I figured I'd show you guys, because you might see it at horse shows, and you, if you do, please take a picture and tag me. I will repost it on my Instagram page, or put it in the back of a YouTube video. Here's the Elise S golf cart. It's like a gray golf cart because Windsor's colors are gray and maroon. Then we have the Elise S logo on the side. That is the actual font of my YouTube channel, which is kind of crazy. Um, we have a four inch lift on it and some like off-roading tires and basket. You'd have to honestly talk to my dad to know about really what's going on because <laughs> he did all this and designed it, not me. Um, but I do know that there's like a thing under here where you can put a cooler and drinks and you can also put a cooler right here and then we made sure that up here um there are two charging ports up there so we're gonna get some phone chargers because i always find that at horse shows that your phones die and you have nowhere to charge them so that's that i i feel like honestly though the one thing this this golf cart's missing that i might have to go on amazon is like i need to get like a tripod <laughs> that like sticks to the front of it so I can be like driving around the horse show. Oh, that doesn't make a great noise. Um, but yeah, welcome to the Elisa S golf cart. Now that I got the thumbnail and showed you guys that, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Definitely subscribe. The barn building is starting guys, finally. So I will be doing videos on that, updating like the first section and then when the structure goes up. And then of course I'll do a barn tour. And I'm so excited for it to be built because I feel like so many videos you guys will love will be able to happen. You'll get to meet my retired horse and my pony a lot more. And there can be so many more fun videos that I necessarily can't film at someone else's barn. So stay tuned for that. It is in progress. Bye guys. Yeah. Two strong-minded individuals will happen when y'all both reach the pinnacle. Things start to get physical. Yeah. What make it worse?